at a res doing his residency at Johns Hopkins University because I grew up in the East Coast, by the way. My sister went to Smith College right here in Northampton, Massachusetts, and I went to University of Maryland and had a college ministry. That's how I got started. And I was on Johns Hopkins University, led this young medical student to Lord, who ended up marrying my sister. And now he's the head of the MT of Mayo Clinic. It's amazing. Spirit-filled believer. But uh, when I went to him, because my jaw locked, and he's a head doctor, he examined me and says, oh, you have classic e uh, e TMJ. I said, what is TMJ? Well, name is term, it means arthritis of the jaw. I said, what are you talking about? I mean, I'm only 24, I can't have arthritis of the jaw. I'm too young to have arthritis. And he says, well, it's just what it is. And, um, and uh, he says, there's no cure for it. We don't even do surgery. He says, it's such a delicate part of your, your face. And, and you just have to just eat Advil for the rest of your life. And I had to rebuke him in love. <laughs> He was a spiritual son. He didn't, he, you know, he would, you know, even though he was a doctor, I said, I rebuke that in Jesus' name. I refuse yes. that. Yes. And he said, of course, Jesus can heal. And, uh, you know, he had just gone insane. He's a relatively new Christian. Uh, but, uh, but I just said to myself, I'm going to make a covenant with God. Many of you know this story because I wrote it in the book, How to Pray for Healing. I made a covenant with God, and I said, every time I see myself in the mirror, I'm going to thank God for my healing. Yes. I'm going to believe I already have it. Yes. Jesus said, it is finished on the cross. And so, three or four times a day, whatever, I would say, Lord, thank you for healing me. By your stripes, I'm healed. I believe I've received my healing. Six months go by, no change. A year goes by, no change. A year and a half goes by, and one morning when I woke up and I yawned, my jaw opened with full extension. I was instantly healed, and I've been healed ever since. Yeah. But the key was Thanksgiving. It's just a Bring your prayers with thanksgiving. He wants worshipers. Sometimes I, there's a mystery of delay, but I do know that God heals all the time. Amen. All the Amen. time. Amen. Now, how can you say that? Well, let me tell you. Even when you go home to be with the Lord, like Peter Wagner, he got healed. Yes. God's a God who heals. Your yes. body heals naturally. Yes. You know, I cut my finger, and the, it was a paper cut. And how many know those paper cuts are the worst? Yes. <laughs> But after a few minutes, I forgot about it because I went, I mean, I couldn't type on my uh, computer because of the paper cut on my finger. And then I forgot about it, went back on my computer, and I started typing. And I said, wait a minute. And I realized my finger was healed, not because of a supernatural healing. It's just that my body is created. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. God has created us. He's given us an immune system. He's given us white cells just to fight sickness. It's amazing that God, and for people to think that God wants us to be sick when he created us this way in the first place, it's crazy. And the hypocrisy is, is that we think, that, you know, some people think that the sovereignty of God to an extreme, that it's God's will that I have cancer because he's in control of everything. Then why fight it? Why go to the doctor? Why take the chemotherapy? You know, why even you know take any kind of medication then? But it's not God's will because God is a good God. Amen. He's a good Heavenly Father. Amen. But the devil, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So God heals naturally. He heals through doctors. Thank God for doctors. My brother is a surgeon. He's a member of our church, my younger brother, um, my brother-in-law. In fact, I'm surrounded by doctors because Sue's parents are both retired physicians. And, and so I thank God for physicians and doctors. So God heals through medicine and medical research. And I believe in God that Christians will be the ones to discover the cure for cancer, for AIDS, any other kind of disruptive technology, because we have the mind of Christ. Amen. Amen. We're to be the head and not the tail. But God also heals supernaturally. That's what we're going after tonight. And if it doesn't